The 1966 University of Texas Clock Tower Shooting The killing spree introduced the nation to the concept of a mass shooting outside the context of a military battlefield, coining a phrase in American lexicon that's become chillingly commonplace. Dozens of times since Whitman, a lone gunman has claimed large numbers of victims in single shooting incidents. It was shortly before noon on a sweltering Monday morning, August 1, 1966, when architectural engineering student and Marine-trained sniper Charles Whitman climbed to the observation deck of the 27-story clock tower in the heart of UT's flagship Austin campus, armed with rifles, pistols and a sawed-off shotgun. He killed 13 people and wounded more than 30 others before authorities gunned him down. He had killed his wife and mother prior to heading to the tower, one victim died in the hospital a week later and medical examiners eventually attributed a 17th death to Whitman in 2001, a man who had been shot and wounded in his one functioning kidney and elected to stop dialysis treatment. Massacre at Virginia Tech In 2007, in one of the deadliest shootings in U.S. history, 32 students and teachers die after being gunned down on the campus of Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University by Su Hui Cho, a student at the school who later dies from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The violence began when Cho, a 23-year-old senior and English major at Blacksburg-based Virginia Tech, shot a female freshman and a male resident assistant in a campus dormitory before fleeing the building. Police were soon on the scene, unaware of the gunman's identity, they initially pursued the female victim's boyfriend as a suspect in what they believed to be an isolated domestic violence incident. However, at around 9.40 am, Cho, armed with a 9mm handgun, a 22 caliber handgun and hundreds of rounds of ammunition, entered a classroom building, chained and locked several main doors and went from room to room shooting people. Approximately 10 minutes after the rampage began, he committed suicide. The attack left 30 people dead and another 17 wounded. In all, 27 students and 5 faculty members died as a result of Cho's actions. Dunblane School Massacre The Dunblane School Massacre took place at Dunblane Primary School near Stirling, Stirlingshire, Scotland, on March 13, 1996 when gunman Thomas Hamilton killed, 16 children and one teacher before committing suicide. It remains as one of the deadliest mass shooting in British history. Public debate about the killings centered on gun control laws, including public petitions, calling for a ban on private ownership of handguns and an official inquiry, which produced the 1996 Cullen reports. In response to this debate, two new firearms acts were passed, which greatly restricted private ownership of firearms in Great Britain. The Sandy Hook Elementary School Mass Care The Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting occurred on December 14, 2012, in Newtown, Connecticut, when 20-year-old Adam Lanza fatally shot 20 children between 6 and 7 years old, as well as 6 adult staff members. Prior to driving to the school, he shot and killed his mother at their Newtown home. As first responders arrived at the scene, Lanza committed suicide by shooting himself in the head. The incident was the second deadliest mass shooting at either a high school or grade school in U.S. history and the fourth deadliest mass shooting by a single person in U.S. history. Columbine High School Shooting on April 20, 1999, two teens went on a shooting spree at Columbine High School in Littleton, Colorado, killing 13 people and wounding more than 20 others before turning their guns on themselves and committing suicide. The crime was the worst high school shooting in U.S. history and prompted a national debate on gun control and school safety, as well as a major investigation to determine what motivated the gunmen, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. There was speculation that the two committed the killings because they had been bullied, were members of a group of social outcasts that was fascinated by goth culture, or, had been influenced by violent video games and music. However none of these theories was ever proven.